So welcome back coders and never ever give up coding. Continue coding. Okay. We're going to talk about binary operators in ES6. Now it usually the previous one wanted to write logic. You would just use the if statements. You would use if statements. But in this case, there's a shorter way of writing logic instead of using if statements. So how does that work? So what you can do, let's make a new variable. Let's call it let auth. Let's call it let auth. And then let the auth be maybe true. It means that some we have run some code previously up, and then it has sent for us back auth to be true. So what you can do, you can say auth. Uh, then maybe there's a variable here. Let's call it, uh, no, there's a function. Let's make a function, not a variable. Let's call it function. And the function be allow. And then it takes in the message. Let's call it msg. And then it console.logs whether we have been allowed or not. We have been authenticated or not. So let's say console.log msg. That's the message. So then we can use our tinary operator. So let me, even, let me call it the t operator. The t operator. So to use the t operator, it's simple. I can say auth and then question mark. Right? So after the question mark, the first part here will be if it is true. If if the auth is true, what should I do? I should say allow. Then the message I should pass in is authenticated. 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 But if it is false, if auth is false, what I should pass in is what should the function I should allow is I should run allow, but I should say not authenticated. Authen authenticated. Not authenticated. So I can now run my my file. To run my file I use node2.js. You can see it has passed for me authenticated because my auth is true. But let's say my auth is false. It's not true. It's false. Uh, let's say false. So if my auth is false, then I run. You can see it has passed for me not authenticated. So this is how you use the binary operator. So thank you for watching. And never ever give up coding. Thank you so much.